Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to build and host a HTML website in 2020. So the thing I like to do first is just go to Google and type in free HTML website templates. Now there's a bunch of options you really get here. Some are from blogs curating the best content, but what I really like to use is html5up.net. So this website has a lot of great templates which are free to download and use. I'm going to use Paradigm Shift here, which is a cool kind of modern um, theme. So all I need to do is click free download and this will download the a zip file with the template. And then if I head over to downloads, I'm going to extract this all here. Cool, so now I have an extracted version of it. And if you see here, this is now a local version of the template that I just downloaded. Now, I, what I like to do is open VS Code. This is a free Microsoft code editor. The link I'll put up in the description of this video. And uh, I'm gonna go and open the folder that I just downloaded. So Paradigm HTML5 Shift. And now this is loaded up in the editor. So if I open the index.html, this website only has one page right now. And this is basically where all the content exists right now. So if we go up and search, see paradigm shift, um, this is in the header under the h1 tag. This corresponds to paradigm shift over here. So I want to make a few edits before I publish this website. So I'm going to change this to my website. Okay, and if I save that, control S and up to refresh, you'll see that this now changes to my website, which is great. Um, now I'm scrolling down here and I see maybe I want to change this address as well. Um, I don't live in Nashville. This is actually from London. So I'll just do a control F find and paste Nashville. And you'll see this is the address here. And I'll change this to something like London, uh, UK, which is great. So I'll save that. And if I update the website again, this now changes to what I just edited, which is cool. So this is all on local. So this is all the local version of the website running on my machine. And then I want to change the cover image. So if we saw on the template that a nice cover image here, um, but it's not actually in the zip file, which we downloaded. So another great website to use is Unsplash. So if you go to unsplash.com, it's a free website just for any images you want to download. So I'm going to type in fitness because I'm going to create a fitness website and look for an image that I like. I think this image is quite cool. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to click download and downloading a medium sized version of the image. Nothing too big. So this is now in my downloads folder and I'm going to copy this um, and paste it in my images folder within the template here. Now I want to know what to replace the image with. So if we go back to where we um, changed it to my website, which is here, if we look into the code, we see that the source is actually um, images forward slash pick zero one dot JPEG. So that corresponds to this picture here. Okay, so I'm going to delete this and rename the picture pick01 I just downloaded uh, and then save the HTML template again. And now if I go back to the local version and update it, you see that the picture is now there as well, which is great. So I can go ahead and change a lot of this. This is obviously placeholder text here. I can change this um, and all these other images and icons if I want by just doing similar things within the page. Um, so this is a really simple way to edit a website and template for free without using something like Squarespace or any ed editor out there. Um, and it's great for just, you know, 
getting something going very quickly um, and having full control over what you want to edit. There's also things to do with the colors. For example, we can change the, the background. So let's say we want to adjust the color of this background here. So we can right click on this and press inspect. And we bring up the Google Chrome editor, um, HTML kind of editor. Um, and we can go here and click on the header tag. And if we scroll down, because this is what's highlighting right now, we'll see that there is a background color here. And if we turn it off, it'll basically disappear. So this background color, we can change to whatever we want. Um, so here you can dynamically change whatever you want the color to be. So let's say we want to change it to more of a, um, let's say like a bluish purple. Yeah, let's let's pick purple. Uh, now the thing with this editor is that it it does, it's only it makes changes as long as you don't refresh the page. So sh as soon as we refresh the page, the color changes. So to do that, to keep, to keep it permanent, we we'll go in to we'd find this color. And then we'd go back to VS Code and open main.css and we'll search for this color again over here. And this is the color that we use right now. So we're going to look for as many instances of this color as you can see. But we're going to go and change the one in um, the header section, which is here. So let's go and change this color to something else. Um, again, they have a color editor. So we can change this color editor. Let's, let's use it a purple. Let's change it to a purple color. And let's save this. And then if we go back to the website and refresh it, you see that it's changed to um, a nice purple color. And we can go again and change it for, let's just change it for all the headers. In, in the page. Cool. So now that's done, we want to host our website and put it somewhere live so people can see. So by far the easiest way to do this is how I'm going to show you right now. Uh, so we have this HTML5 paradigm shift uh, folder which is created. Now what I'm going to do is add all of this to a zip file. So if I add it to a new zip file, um, let's call this my website. So this contains a zip file of everything I've edited right now. And then I'm going to head over to tiny.host, that's with two i's and y.host. And this is a super simple static web hosting service. Uh, and we can basically upload our site here in a few seconds. So Let's call this my fitness site. And then I'm going to go and drag the zip folder, which I created my website over here, and click launch. And now within a few seconds, my fitness site.tinyhost is now live. And if I click that, we have our website, which is now live on the internet. So you can go ahead and share this link with anyone you want. Maybe you can share it for feedback um, or just to, to, to send it as, as a project. And with TinyHost, your site is live for seven days um, and you can continuously update it as you want. We can also go in and put in our email address if we want to save it. So my email address is, let's say, hello at tiny.host. Uh, and lock it. And this now means that no one can update this domain for the next seven days. If we want to go and um, host it for a bit longer, you can just go pro and there's several options here to, to upgrade as well. Tiny Host is a very quick and easy hosting service where you can upload any HTML website. If you like to update the site, just go to update site, type in your subdomain, um, and update everything here as well and and that's it hope you enjoyed the video and please click like and subscribe if you're interested in more videos of the of the certain kind and if you're interested in, in knowing anything more about how to edit this uh, the template then feel free to drop uh, a message in the comments and i'll be very happy to help you and provide with another video